Can you imagine the pop that would happen if he did it in front of a crowd? It would be enormous. I mean, we were, we were clapping while I'm the video like, was playing. <laughs> what in the world? Well, luckily our DC family is still making tons of noise from their homes. Let's check out the fan voices. Let's go! Yeah! And... Whether sitting in the arena or right here in my living room, I always ride for my wizards. Let's go, wizards! Let's go, wizards! Put it down for the DC family. Show them why we rep the district. And when you come back to the DMV, we know you would have held it down because we know you bout it. Let's go, wizards! Ah, 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 ah. Let's go, wizards! Ah, 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 ah. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go, wizards! Woo! I need that fan to get me hyped up every single morning. Now is the time to renew your DC 12 Club membership. The 2020-21 season will be here before you know it. To be a part of the action and enjoy your exclusive benefits and events throughout the season, renew by August 14th. Call your rep today or visit dc12club.com. Wow, the fans are excited. I'm excited. Britt's excited. There's so much that we've already covered in the show, and yet we're only halfway through. As a reminder, welcome to Wizards Virtual Game Day presented by Mountain Dew. Britt, whew, I can't I can't believe we're only halfway through the show at this point. I can't believe it, but you know what energizes me? Mm. A good sneaker game. Mm. Oh, yeah, sneakerheads, you are going to be excited about this. Rui Hachimura has made it. Jordan Brand created his own exclusive one-of-one -one shoe, the Air Jordan 34 Heritage, and it showcases both sides of his background with the vibrant patterns of Africa, also paired with waves and cherry blossoms to represent his Japanese side. Yeah, and also a nod to DC as well, the Cherry Blossom Festival, mm -hmm. everything works out. The synergy on the shoe game is yeah, outstanding. We need we need a pair here. Can we get those shipped We do out? need a pair here. I need I'll, to replace these. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just taking my shoes off because I, I do want to have a dance party and totally I can't dance normal in these thing. and crease them. Totally normal thing to do. Just, <laughs> just take the shoe right off your foot. Let's leave it to the professionals, <laughs> wizards, dancers. Show us what you got. This is the type of joint that's for all the people who love to jump. Let me see everybody right now. Trump in the air, just Trump. Touch the sky, just Trump in the air, just Trump. Touch the sky, just wave them hands around, wave them hands around, wave them hands around, wave them hands around. Hands around. Trump. All right, where we at? Let me see, let me see everybody. Let me see everybody. Let me see everybody. Jump, 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 jump around. almost every neighborhood around there. That was amazing. It's crazy. And the fact we were just talking about Rui's kicks and then most of the professional dancers are doing this in Air Max from Nike. I mean, like, that's that's crazy. That, they're that's already so super skilled, but in those <laughs> shoes, like... And they do it like it's nothing. Like, they can have a dance party all day. I want to have a dance party all day. But we have to talk basketball. We should talk a little bit basketball. On today's edition of Virtual Voices, we spoke with director of pro personnel and former wizard, Antoine Jameson. All right, we welcome onto the show a Wizards legend, Antoine Jamison, still involved with the organization today. Antoine, thank you so much for joining us, man. Oh, uh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, let's get right into it here because the Wizards are obviously an interesting team this year. They're very young, and you know them as a director of pro personnel better than a lot of people. Uh, so heading into the bubble, what was the team's mindset as they play in this truly, we'll call it, unique and unprecedented situation? You know, especially with the, the, the guidelines as far as you only have to be four games from the A spot to get into that play-in game. Uh, we was really, you know, having a, the positivity as a great chance of us actually, you know, getting an opportunity to play in the playoffs. So I had the opportunity to talk to a lot of these young guys and you don't normally get that opportunity to play so many significant amount of minutes and they have done that. And 
now we're with the restart of the season, the bubble, it's a great opportunity for them to not only prove to them coaches, but people in the front office that, you know, I can be an important piece of this puzzle. Certain situations that might present itself, this is how I perform in those minutes. Those minutes. So not only does that look good to the coaching staff and the front office, but also we get the opportunity to make it to the playoff, which, you know, with the way the season was going, we know a lot of people never thought that opportunity would present itself. Antoine, you obviously know the situation as a player better than anyone making a playoff push. This is obviously a different year. It sounds like you've had some conversations with the players uh, beforehand and while they were there. Uh, would you mind sharing real quick some of the advice you may have given to some of the, the core young guys, whether it's a Rui Hachimura, Troy Brown Jr., or players along those lines? Yeah, the, the most important thing is just, you know, you know, take advantage of the moment. You know, you have an opportunity to, to you know, uh, give the coaching staff confidence going forward when we do have a healthy team next year. And what better way to say, you know what, I was part of the team that, you know, helped make a push for us to go into the playoffs and just the kind of national attention they would get and so forth. But for a majority of the guys, man, they love the game of basketball. They bring great energy. And that's what you need is no home court advantage, really. Uh, so now you kind of have to produce your own energy and I think our, our bench has done that. A lot of guys who have been journeymen are now in a situation where they're getting the opportunity to not only show us what they can do, but it's other teams that are watching our games as well. Antoine, I really appreciate you taking the time. I know that it's a busy time right now with everyone in the bubble and, and trying to make that playoff push. So thank you for coming on the show, and I hope you and yours are staying healthy. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. That was great. I mean, these are unprecedented times, so it's it's really cool to hear how a former player would handle things like this. It's funny you say that because it's time for us to get a handle on the game for Wizards and Pacers today. The first key, yeah, I know we're playing the Pacers, but pace yourself is the first thing you need to worry about. Wizards top five in pace this season, and with no DeMontis Sabonis on the side of Indiana, they're going to want to pick up the pace a little bit more. The Wizards particularly good at that. Next up, share the love. The Wizards, one of three teams this season to average over 115 points a game and over 25 assists per game. Get the ball moving, share the love with everybody on the floor, and then finally crash the glass. Britt, this is going to come up every single game. Rebounding is such paramount importance for this Wizards squad. Miles Turner on the other side is a beast down low got to crash the glass. Yes, it's going to be crazy. I can't wait to watch the game. Who should we be looking in the player matchup? Well, today it's going to be Troy Brown Jr. against Victor Oladipo. Victor Oladipo opted to play in the bubble after some uncertainty around his surgically repaired right knee tendon. Kept him out for a year. He's back, though. Troy Brown has played pretty well in both exhibition games and the few games we've seen in the bubble so far. This is going to be a really interesting matchup at the guard position between an all-star in Victor Oladipo and a young up-and-comer in Troy Brown Jr. Absolutely. The player that I want to watch that's been doing so much work in the bubble, mm -hmm. G-Wiz in the bubble. Oh, of course. <laughs> the most important player. <laughs> G-Wiz gets around getting the work done on the hardwood. And he's taped up. You know, he, he's got to get out there. Absolutely. It, it looks like he's about to check into the game right now. <laughs> Best seat in the house for G-Wiz. Absolutely. And I think that G-Wiz, honestly, best mascot in the entire league. Hands down. But, I mean, we might as well put them up together in a mascot battle presented by Mountain Dew. Let's take a look. Finish him. Stand a chance against G Wiz. You know, it's almost like, you know, the Indiana Pacers, they weren't even trying. It almost fe felt like that, but no, G Wiz is just that good. They just like froze and like, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. <laughs> All right, we go from fun to more basketball talk, this time to someone who is inside the NBA bubble, Zach Rosen, in today's Reporter Roundup. All right, welcome to the show, Zach Rosen, Senior Content Manager of the Washington Wizards. And he's also down in the bubble right now. Zach, what's going on, man? Hey, Dan. Good to see your face. Uh, I've been enjoying the show. 
know, it's been four months since I saw your face, Zach Rose. This is crazy. Uh, let's start off with the bubble. Uh, you are down there. You have a very unique perspective that not a lot of people have. What exactly has the bubble been like for you? It's been interesting, uh, without a doubt. I think uh, coming into it, I didn't really have expectations. I think that was the best way to think about it because we knew we'd be entering just a completely new idea. And um, the first couple of days were definitely uh, you needed to get used to what was in front of you. But since then, I mean, we were talking uh, you know, this past weekend that it's gone by really fast. It's flown by, um, everyone's totally comfortable and the NBA has done everything it could to, to make this, um, a positive situation, you know, outside of seeing friends and family from back home or wherever you live. Um, it, it's been a really positive experience, I think for everyone. And then for me personally, just to be able to kind of be the, the lone ranger trying to cover everything that's happening here. Um, luckily, I've gotten some assistance from my intern, Troy Brown Jr., with his blog. So that's how <laughs> a little bit. Have you called him your intern to his face? Have you said that to him? Uh, Jan coined it once to his face. So now I guess I can roll with it. His vlog is outstanding. Zach, I want to shift gears from basketball to something that's bigger than that. Uh, and that's the social activism work that the Wizards have worked on along with the rest of Monumental Sports and Entertainment. I would love to hear some of the things they've been able to do even in the bubble. Yeah, I mean, this date backs, dates back to May when uh, we came out with some strong statements right off the bat. Um, you know, we have these these T-shirts that we sold that also benefited when we all vote. Everyone in this whole staff and the travel party here wore it before our first game, took a team photo. Um, witnessing the national anthem with everyone taking a knee was a pretty surreal thing to watch um, in person. To be there, it was really cool and it, to see how united both the Wizards and Suns were in that moment. And then with the When We All Vote, um, you know, we've been recording videos a lot that we haven't even put out yet, but just continuing to push with less than 100 days till uh, the national election. Um, you know, these guys are really passionate about it. And that's been the coolest part that all this has been coming from the players with our support, with monumental basketball support, um, MSC support. It's awesome to see the Wizards organization from top to bottom be so committed to something like this across the board. It's been really awesome to see Zach Rosen, senior content manager, washwizards.com. Thank you so much for joining us, man. Appreciate you, Dan. Zach Rosen doing good work on the basketball court and off the basketball court for the Washington Wizards. By the way, just to really emphasize this, Troy Brown is his intern. He's his, and I mean, he's the player to watch for us. He's played great for the Wizards. He's got his own vlog, and apparently he's Zach's intern as well. Crazy. You know, that's not the type of salary I got as an intern. <laughs> yeah. I might have to go back and, and check on my old bosses. Where does he find the time? All right, Wizards, <laughs> Pacers, it's a big-time matchup tonight, Britt. What are you most excited about? I'm excited to see some of the player matchups that we talked about, and just to be more happy. I mean, some people get the Monday blues. I'm ready to shake those off and get in game day mode. The way you can get ready for the game day is with NBC Sports Washington. Coverage starts at 3 p.m. Game is at 4 p.m. The Wizards are back and you can watch and stream every game on NBC Sports Washington and the My Teams app bookmark NBCSportsWashington.com for continuing coverage of the Wizards. Absolutely. I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Wizards Virtual Game Day presented by Mountain Dew. Let's grab some Mountain Dews and go sneaker shopping. Let's do it. We'll, we'll, we'll catch you guys later. We'll catch you later.